This is Objects of North Devon, a weekly podcast designed to bring museums' objects out of their displays and into your homes. Hello, my name is Trudy and I am the shop lead for the museum. Today I'm talking about two paintings, Barnstable and the River Tour 1867 and Barnstable the River Tour 1886 by Joseph Kennedy. The paintings were part of the collection that was held at St Anne's Chapel and have been taken in by the museum. They depict Victorian life in Barnstable. Both paintings are set on canvas and oil paint has been applied by the artist Joseph Kennedy, born in 1838 and dying at the age of 55 after falling from a window. Kennedy was an alcoholic art master who always struggled for money, producing a stock of set local views, repeating the same ones many times in different sizes. We happen to have two, but there are many others around. Lots of his paintings are reconstructions of views that had already been painted, thus he painted from prints. However, we must have an error. Most importantly, the date is wrong on the one labelled 1867, as it depicts the museum and it wasn't built then. It is suspected the date should read 1887, 20 years later. These two paintings are presented from the same location. You are standing in Rock Park near Coney Gut, a view that is easily recognised today over a hundred years later. These paintings are the same, with some little differences. They tell the story of local baronites, the park's development and the painter's experience. You would be forgiven at a quick glance to think that these two were the same. There are 18 trees along the river bank. There is a man in a blue jacket walking his black dog with red cloth in his bag. Five railings stop you from falling into the river. Three stone stairways lead you down to the river's edge. A boatman helps a lady alight from a boat. The fisherman has cast his net while his companion rows. The Museum of Barnstable in North Devon stands proudly in her red brick dressings. The fields and the hills roll away in the distance towards Bradyford and Ashford. The long bridge stands on its 15 arches with the Shapland and Petter rooftops just showing. However, if you look more closely, there are differences. Has the artist gained experience that repainting the view of the river and rock park was too much of a call that he could not do it? Was he trying to leave a legacy of the river and the park's usage? Did he want to leave a history of the water employment? Is he disappointed at the demise of the river use by the locals? Was he portraying what we had and what we'd lost? Had he lost clarity of his vision while painting? Or was he just painting to pay for the next drink? Take a look and draw your own conclusion. If you want to find out more about our collections, go to the Google Art and Culture page. You will find the link at the bottom of this post. Thank you for listening and please join us again next week for our next podcast. Cheerio!